Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Brandon for VPN FTW and today we're going to be taking a look at TunnelBear VPN. Now TunnelBear VPN is a service who's been around for quite a few years now. I think I used them around one or two times uh, a few years ago. I think this was like two years back. So the service has been around for quite some time. So today we're going to go ahead, take a look at the website, take a look at the paid service, check it out with you guys and let you guys know what we think right out of the box. So we went ahead, loaded up the TunnelBear website right here. And as with all of our first looks and reviews, I just want to let you guys know that we're going to be taking a look at some of the features that we believe matters none of this bs or advertising jargon or you know affiliate bs uh, we're gonna go ahead and let you guys know what we really think and what really matters so right out of the box says simple private free access so um tunnel bear vpn comes up a lot in the uh free vpn uh area they do have a free vpn service so you guys will go ahead and uh if you guys ever look up free vpns they'll come up a lot so it looks like it says browse privately with tunnel bear uh learn more you can browse privately save public wi-fi no logging so it says TunnelBear does not log any activity on users connected to our service, period. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at that because that may not be 100% true. Uh, they may not log you know, user activity, but they do uh, some sort of logging. I'll we'll go ahead and show you guys in their privacy policy in a little bit. But it says it's easy to enjoy and more open internet. So it says Tunnel Everywhere. Looks like they have 20 plus countries we can connect to. Looks like it says it's really fast, really easy. Now guys, one thing, like just right out of the box, I want to say this, this site is... I mean, it's not a bad site. It looks really nice, but it's kind of cheesy. You know, everything is like really like bear oriented. Uh, I'll show you guys like really fast. It's like a bear running really easy, like a bear using it. Um, I'll show you guys. It's the company. The company kind of reminds me of like a like an old corporate guy trying to, you know, be like hip with the kids. Uh, their their social media is super duper cringy and their site is kind of just cringy overall so it says download a bear and start browsing privately i don't like i don't even know what that means so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at some of their stuff down here uh why use a vpn so it looks like uh so it looks like they use aes 256 bit encryption we do not log network activity so it looks like they are using strong encryption by default it looks like they have over 20 countries we can stream faster. It looks like they have a uh, way to block online trackers. So I think they have an option within their VPN. I was checking out the site a little bit earlier where um, you guys can go ahead and like limit the advertisers, kind of like an ad block almost in the VPN, which is pretty cool if you're using it on mobile. So simple private free access. Let's go ahead and check out the pricing right here. We're going to go ahead and go with the paid plan because we're not going to go with the free plan. But it looks like the free plan, uh, free plan offers 500 megabytes of free data every month. Giant looks like it's $7.99 per month, unlimited data, pay monthly. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that. And guys, I just wanted to note down here, you can pay with credit card, American Bitcoin. I love that they support Bitcoin anonymous payments. But uh, right here, guys, you guys can actually pay with jars of honey. Now, that's actually real. You guys can actually send Tunnel Bear um, jars of honey to pay. I'm not sure the conversion, but um, you can literally send them jars of honey like in the actual mail. And... Um, Pay for the VPN service, so it's just kind of kind of weird. But let's go ahead. Uh, I don't really know how we pay for it. I'm just gonna go ahead. It looks like we download free Tunnel Bear. So it says your download has started. If you need to restart it, click the platform below. All right, looks like I went ahead and started down here. So it looks like they have some browser extensions. That's pretty cool. So they have one in Chrome and Opera. Okay, so it doesn't look like they support um, any Firefox plugins, but I'm gonna go back for a second. And I forgot to mention, with any tunnel bear you can get, you can connect up to five computers, tablets, or phone, or lightning fast global network and get 24 hours support. So it looks like they do offer five simultaneous connections right here. And it looks like I went ahead and downloaded. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open, run. Uh, raw. See, like, guys, I mean, and it's got, like, a wood finish on it. <laughs> um, I agree. Where do you want your bear? I mean, come on, guys. Your tunnel bear is going live in the following folder. Click somewhere else. That's fine. Install. Looks like it needs admin permissions. Unboxing the bear. <sighs> guys, it just gets more cringy. I mean, if you look at their social media, <laughs> brushing fur, it just gets worse. I mean, guys, if you look at their social media, they just advertise with all this bear stuff. It's just really, like, it's just really cringy at the end of the day. Whew, your digital companion for increasing. Um, I do not have a Tunnel Bear account. Click next. So it looks like it needs our first name. Looks like it needs our email. So 
So if you guys can hear our keyboard clicks right here, you think we'd be more professional so you guys couldn't hear that <laughs> uh, at this point. <laughs> All right, so right here it looks like we can add our Twitter ID. Uh, I'm not gonna add that, I'm gonna click next and see if we can go without that. All right, I don't know why you'd add your Twitter ID in there. Select the country you'd like to connect on and then turn Tunnel Bear on. Use your regular web browser to privately browse the country you selected. They should just remove Internet Explorer. I'm sorry, but like, just be gone off that. Uh, turn on privacy and review your trackers online. Tunnel Bear has destroyed your pri has destroyed to protect your privacy. Uh, okay, we're gonna keep going here. Follow Tunnel Bear for great news and updates. Okay. Check your email to confirm we've delivered your bear to the right address. All right, we're gonna go ahead and click done. All right, so we went ahead and clicked our email to verify our account. We're gonna go ahead and hit, or no, not resend email. I didn't mean to do that. All right, we went ahead and closed it. We're gonna go ahead and pop in our email and password. Skip this, get tunneling. All right, so it looks like it has a wood finish. Uh, looks like it says it's, I don't know, so if it's driver checking, registering. So we're on the little tunnel bear. Um, upgrade. We're just going to go ahead and upgrade right away, guys. Uh, we're not going to waste any time with this free account. So go ahead and upgrade right here. All right, so we're going to go ahead and pay. And Your bear has been upgraded to a giant tunnel bear. Thanks for buying a giant bear. Guys, this is so cringy. All right, guys, so it looks like it says giant tunnel bear, unlimited data. Okay, I can't stand this, these fish piling up right here. I'm just going to go over here, back to this tab. Okay, so it looks like it says giant tunnel bear, unlimited data. So we can go ahead, close this tunnel. Um, privacy. Grr, your privates are showing. Mall trackles. Tunnel bear is off. Uh, the cringe is strong. Uh, so let's go ahead and go to the options right here. So general vigilant. What is this? So we can show desktop notifications, launch tunnel bear startup. We're going to turn that off already. Um, looks like vigilant. I'm not sure what this is. So let's go ahead. Looks like it opens a new tab. This is just too much. It looks like vigilant is just a VPN kill switch. It looks like they just way overdid it. TCP override. Let's go ahead and see if they have a easy thing to go on this. All right, so it looks like they use UDP on all their servers by default, but you guys can go ahead and use TCP if you want. We're not going to go ahead and get into that. UDP and TCP is a whole nother video, but if you guys know what it's talking about, if you don't, don't worry about it. Uh, Ghost bear right here. I'm not sure what this is. Let's go ahead and pop this open. All right, so it looks like it just uh, brings us to a help page. So it looks like it that went ahead, goes ahead and goes to nothing. IntelliBear, with, Intel <laughs> with IntelliBear, you can choose which websites are securely tunneled by entering the question mark in the URLs below. All right, so this is pretty cool. It looks like this is becoming pretty general in VPNs where you can go ahead and make sure that certain traffic doesn't tunnel through VPNs. So if you guys wanna go ahead and leave the VPN in, but log into your bank and you guys don't wanna log in with your VPN on, you guys don't actually have to turn it off. You guys can actually go ahead and just add the domains that you don't want your VPN to tunnel through and we'll go ahead and just um, ignore those with the VPN on. And it looks like right here, all right, this is our account info. So it looks like I'm just going to go ahead and leave these settings on by default. Uh, we're going to go ahead and close this. Right, we're going to go ahead and pop this on. And I think the uh, this mall trackers right here is like the, uh, the, there's something like their ad block. I think it has like ad block. It's kind of like ghostery or like uBlock origin like we have right here. I think it goes ahead and blocks ads and other uh, unwanted trackers. So it looks like mall trackers. We're going to go ahead and leave that off. Giant Tunnel Bear Unlimited Data. All right, guys, let's go ahead and hop over to these sites where we go ahead and check our information to make sure it's kind of uh, securing us. So let's go ahead and head over to xmyip.com. That's the first site we're going to check. It's going to let us know about our IP address. So it looks like we are appearing in Mexico. It looks like that is the closest server uh, they claim to us. Um, it looks like they can't tell that we're using any kind of proxy. Let's head over to whoer.net. So it looks like this is securing us because we are not located in Mexico. And it looks like it, uh, we are appearing in Mexico right here. All right, guys, and the DNS here is appearing in the United States, but I do not believe it is my personal DNS. Uh, I'm actually not 100% sure. But we're going to go ahead and head down here, JavaScript, Flash, ActiveX, and WebRTC. So this is going to go ahead and pull JavaScript and Flash and WebRTC from our computer, run it, and see if the VPN is truly securing our PC. That's one thing that I love about this site. Uh, sorry if I kind of just jumped into that right there, if that didn't really make sense. But it looks like we are appearing in Mexico right here, guys. It looks like uh, our VPN is truly securing our computer. So let's go ahead and head over to dnsleaktest.com and see where our DNS is appearing from. So it looks like um, it did flop around there for a minute. Um, when I went ahead and refreshed the page for a second, it looked like the DNS changed um, to 173. That was another DNS. The other one was 74. 
So it looks like DNS leak test. Um, wow, it's finding a lot of DNS servers. Let's go ahead and check all these out and see if any of these are my personal own. All right, guys, so the test went ahead and completed, and the reason it found so many DNS servers is because it looks like they are using Google DNS by default. So Google DNS is a free DNS server that you guys can go ahead and use. And this is one thing that I'm not 100% very fond of is when companies use Google DNS. It's not that it's bad, it's just that Google DNS, now all your DNS queries are being rooted to Google. And if you guys know how DNS queries work, I'll go ahead and show you what a DNS leak is here. That's why you guys don't want a DNS leak, that little photo. But if you guys can see the point of a DNS, you guys don't really want all your queries necessarily going to Google. Even though they will be masked with the TunnelBear VPN IP, uh, all your DNS queries will still be going to Google, which I'm not 100% fond of, but let's go ahead and do another quick switch. Let's go ahead and switch to somewhere out of the country and see how easy it is. So it looks like we're gonna go ahead and switch over to Switzerland. All right, it looks like that took quite a while, but it looks like it says we are in Switzerland right now. Safe and sound in an encrypted bear hug. See you guys, this, <laughs> this company. So we're gonna head back over to DNS leak test right here. We're gonna go ahead and click extended test. And then we're gonna head over to whoer.net once again. We're gonna go ahead and find our IP address. So it looks like we are appearing in Switzerland. It looks like the DNS is appearing in the Netherlands. And it looks like the website can tell that we are using a proxy or some kind of anonymizer. It doesn't say anonymizer, but that's basically what it means. And a blacklist right here. So you guys don't need to worry about this. This just means that somebody on the VPN was probably spamming and it got caught on a public blacklist. But it looks like right here when it pulls JavaScript, Flash, ActiveX, WebRTC from our computer, it looks like uh, the VPN is appearing in Switzerland. So let's head back over to DNS leak test. Looks like it's having a hard time there, so let's go ahead, head back over, see if we can do another extended test, and uh, see what's taking so long. All right, guys, so it looks like it found a ton of DNS servers. It looks like, again, they are from Google. It looks like we are appearing in the, uh, or the DNS is appearing in the Netherlands. So you guys can tell there's just a massive amount of Google DNS servers here. Okay, so this mall trackers right here is basically what I thought. It's kind of like a ghostry or a uBlock origin. We'll go ahead and kind of block analytics, advertising, and some social media. So we're going to go ahead, head over to my website right here. Go ahead and refresh the page. I think I have one or two. I think I have like a Facebook tracker down here. Or uh, it's automatically implemented there. I would never actually implement that. And then I think I have clicky analytics on here. So it doesn't look like it's blocking this Facebook tracker. Let's go ahead and see. So guys, after Relentless trying the mall trackers feature, it does not work on the Windows 7 version uh, right now. Apparently, it is September 14th, 2016. Went ahead and uh, have restarted it, connected to different servers, refreshed different pages, and nothing works. So it looks like the mall trackers feature does not work. But I went ahead and headed over to their website right here, and I was looking at their features earlier, the ones that we could that I couldn't figure out in their settings, the Ghost Bear. And it looks like Ghost Bear is to go ahead and defeat VPN blocking. So it looks like if you're on a network where a VPN is blocked, or maybe you're somewhere in China, I'm not sure if this VPN works in China, but I'm just saying if you're somewhere in China where there is, uh, you know, a lot of censorship, or you're on a school network, that may be one bonus to this VPN. And here are the 20, and here are the over 20 countries you guys can connect to. And uh, it looks like it says that you can connect to all these countries, except it looks like Australia is the one paid country. Uh, I'm not too sure why that is. You think they'd have more paid countries than just Australia, but it looks like Australia Australia is uh, the paid country for one for some reason. All right, guys, and we are now in their privacy policy right here. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the information that they do collect. So it looks like when you go ahead and install their app, they do collect the OS version that you were on, the Tunnel Bear version that you are using, the overall lifetime connection, so no timestamps, just the amount of times that you have used the app, if your account is active or not, and the total amount of bandwidth you have used per month. Now, um, that's very apparent with the free plan because they offer 500 megabytes, so they're gonna go ahead and monitor that. And uh, this is one thing that's kind of crazy to me. So if you guys go ahead and use this mall trackers feature right here, um, it's gonna go ahead and actually record the top level domains. So it's actually gonna go ahead and record the domain that you go to. So it's gonna go ahead and report that you went to tunnelbear.com or whichever website that you went to. It's gonna go ahead and report that you went to that domain. It says that they don't connect the uh, unique traffic URLs. So they don't connect anything after tunnelbear.com or anything after freedomhacker.net. So they're not gonna see that you're on um, this you know, entire article right here apparently they're just going to see the top level domain now, that's kind of crazy if you think about it with a vpn that's kind of just a little bit crazy to me when you think about it and um right here this is just some general info that um, you know every vpn connects um 
you know, if you use a credit card, they have to connect, they have to collect this information. The information tunnel bear does not connect. So they go ahead and advertise no logging a lot. Um, so it says they don't log any IP addresses that visit their site, any IP addresses that connect to their service, and they do not log any information about the application services or websites connected to their service. So it looks like they're saying that they do not log, uh, so they don't store any originating IPs. So it looks like they're saying that they don't really store anything except that information that we said above. They can go ahead and store the top level domain um, that you went to, but it looks like it says it's, it's no identifying information. But this will go ahead and block ad script, cookies, beacons, and social buttons. So it looks like if that feature works, that's what it will go ahead and do, but it looks like it is um, not working right now. All right, guys, that was our Tunnel Bear VPN first look. Aside from the cringy bear jokes and all that, uh, I, did, I wouldn't say the site is too bad. I actually kind of like their Windows client right here. Um, it doesn't really have a whole lot of features. It looks kind of weird. It kind of has that like wood finish, but it's pretty simple. It doesn't have a lot of features or you know a lot of um, unnecessary stuff. It's kind of just small, simple. I kind of like that. It doesn't really need this wood finish. Um, but that was our first look. I did find it kind of weird to sign up for the VPN that you had to actually... Um, download the service first, create your account, and then you go ahead and pay online. I found that that was kind of weird. Um, it automatically signs you up for a free account, and then you go ahead and hit upgrade right within the client, and then you can go ahead and sign up. So I found the setup a little bit weird, but um, I don't find this a terrible VPN. I'm not a huge fan of their privacy policy, and as you guys can see, the mall trackers doesn't work right um, out of the box. But their VPN does secure us, and their DNS is, again, one thing to take into account. But this is not a tunnel bear review. We'll be doing a review on this service in the future but if you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and guys i'm sorry if these videos get super long sometimes i try to cut them down but sometimes we just have so much to say or so much to look at but that was our tunnel bear vpn first look if you guys have any other vpns that you want us to take a first look at or go ahead and do comparisons to go ahead and let us know in the comments below but if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more like this please subscribe to vpn ftw with that big red button right down below but if you guys want to check out this service you guys can go ahead and check out the link in the description below but that was our tunnel bear vpn first look thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are all out there staying secure